Smart you really are? Well, wonder no more. While there's plenty of back and forth over the viability of IQ testing, especially online IQ tests, we think you could be proud of and tout your scores from these 10 interactive tests. Unless it's really low, maybe keep that to yourself then. And here are three smart things you can remember to do when you're done. If you enjoy the video, then give it a like. Then leave a really smart or smarty pants comment below. Finally, click the bell to be smartly notified when our next new video is uploaded. Number 10, free-iqtest.net. If it's a simple test you're looking for, look no further than free-iqtest.net. A series of 20 questions will test your understanding of number sequences and logic puzzles before providing you with a score that's easy to share with friends, family, and people you think are dumber than you. Unlike most IQ tests, this version actually lets you see which questions you missed, which does offer the opportunity for cheating as the questions don't change over time. Number 9. The Dot Test Playbuzz's series of dot tests may be a little unfair to people affected by colorblindness, but it's an otherwise unique means of determining one's ability to think critically and analyze an image thoroughly. Just as the name implies, each test, which are posted by Playbuzz users, utilizes dots in a variety of ways to test your visual acuteness and, in some instances, your ability to think critically. For instance, do you have any idea how to get the red dot into the middle? They may not test IQ per se, but the dot tests are fun and can still give you bragging rights. Number 8. IQtest.com Kudos to the Autumn Group for snagging this domain for its very straightforward website. No frills await at IQtest.com, which launches you into the 38-question assessment with two clicks of the mouse. Once you've completed each of the wordy, true-false questions, you'll receive a complete personal intelligence profile. Oh, that's after you pay the $14.95, of course. While the need for payment is frustrating, IQtest.com does provide useful resources for anyone intrigued with the concept and history of IQ scores and mental abilities. Additionally, after testing your intelligence, you you could complete three sample conscious exercises. Number 7. Culture Fair Intelligence Test Thanks to Raymond B. Cattell, we're able to test our intelligence without environmental or social factors getting in the way. Rather than bog the user down with lengthy word problems or inane if-then scenarios, the Culture Fair Intelligence Test, or CFIT, is broken up into three different segments or scales of visual puzzles, the first of which is intended for children of 4 to 8 years old. If you have a knack for logic puzzles and can spot sequences, CFIT may be the test for you. Number 6. BMI Test What are you talking about body mass index test for? Oh, 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 never mind. Touted on its homepage as the USA's most accurate online IQ test, the Brain Metrics Initiative, or BMI, certified IQ test was created by a team of researchers with the intention of providing mental skill estimates to individuals. The company itself focuses on the development of such tools to evaluate these estimates, which is where its 20-question test stems from. Like CFIT, the BMI test is all image and number sequences, though you'll need to drop $20 to actually retrieve your IQ score and receive a printable certificate and a 17-page performance report. Number 5. Inductive Reasoning Test Developed by psychometric specialists, the inductive reasoning test has a unique application. Rather than just test IQ, it's said to be able to predict future job performance in potential candidates. The tests present a series of image sequence puzzles that may be similar to prior tests we've come across, but there's also a sample mechanical assessment that focuses more on cognitive reasoning and physical and practical concepts with questions like, which is the most suitable tool for cutting electrical wires? Number 4. Stanford Binet Fluid reasoning, visual spatial processing, working memory, knowledge, and quantitative reasoning. When it comes to the Stanford Binet, those are the five factors of cognitive ability that are being tested through the 60-question assessment. Derived from the Binet-Simon scale created by psychologist Lewis M. Terman in 1916, the Stanford Binet test or Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale has gone through five different revisions and tests the cognitive ability and intelligence of individuals, though its original application was to determine developmental issues in younger children. The test is comprised of word, number, and image puzzles, such as if you rearrange the letters of B-A-R-B-I-T, you would have the name of what? Number 3. Vexler Test 
The history behind the Vexler test dates back to 1939 and the creation of the Vexler Bellevue Intelligence Scale, which was actually an improvement on the older Binet Scale, originally intended to test the cognitive functions of children ages 5 to 15. Recent revisions, which started with the 1949 Vexler Intelligence Scale for Children, have included testing low-functioning or disabled adults. According to David Vexler, the psychologist behind the test, individuals that score above 130 are considered gifted. So, are you gifted? Or do questions like, which word, when added to the beginning of mill and the end of chain, creates two other words, stump you? Number 2. Hasselbauer Dickheiser Test Well, go ahead. Decipher this mess of shapes and numbers to prove that you have what it takes to best the Hasselbauer Dickheiser Test for Exceptional Intelligence. To successfully work through this series of complex questions, it's recommended that a rather proficient understanding of mathematics is required, as is the patience to work through questions like this. The test's complexity, which was formulated by Nathan Hasselbauer and Mike Dickheiser for the International High IQ Society, is designed to assess IQs of up to 180 plus and is said to have been designed for individuals in the top 1%. Number 1. Mensa Maybe the most well-known high IQ society out there, the Mensa Admissions Test is the ultimate determination of one's intelligence quota. The two-hour long assessment features two different tests comprised of a collection of deductive reasoning and logic puzzles. And if the pressures weren't high enough already, only those that score at or above the 98th percentile are accepted into the society. If you're not ready to try out Mensa's brutal test, you can always pass the time answering questions like, if it were two hours later, Later, it would be half as long until midnight as it would be if it were an hour later. What time is it now? In the Mensa Workout Quiz. Thanks for watching. How you feeling now? Smart or dumb? Well, you can still be above average right now. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a like or leave a butt wise, figure that one out, comment below. And so you won't even have to think about it for the next time. Remember to click the bell so you get notified automatically about the next time the team at Top 10 Archive uploads a new video. Now that's smart.